main gate, the main gate. Hey, then. Okay, we'll see. You jump through the fence, you are so spoiled the street like the one So these are some of the sleepers, you have broke the gate. The boat side. This was just where they use. They didn't use anywhere. They were controlling them. Before we know, I don't know what happened. The security retreat. Then, even I was stabbed there. But it was also not the same. That's what I Yes, there were military men that were with us, so we were like telling them shit back, shit back. Before you know, let me just turn, I didn't see any of them. Then the students were coming and see the blue whistle. Ah. So some of them that were already on the ground, I was trying to pull them. So the pressure, some were jumping up. Yeah. So the pressure, I was, I, before I showed up, I was also on the floor. I was out. Fine. I, there was a girl that held one of my guys. We were working together. She held him by the belt. See, she gave up. That one, you know, she gave up. Oh, she gave up from here. Exhausted. She allowed him. No, you see, uh, that is no, what was the, the, the important thing is that the committee will be set up. The committee will get what you will invite all of you and get all the facts in you. And then, based on that, uh, we'll have the report. And the state also set up one iPod committee as well, so that we have the report from the university and then the report from the state. And together, we'll see what we can do with them. Because um, honestly, it's not unfortunate. Very unfortunate that we cannot control ourselves. We cannot control ourselves. And uh, for violating for 4,000 students, it's a large number. Oh, a number. Yes, already, it's already a large here. number. Yes. For 4,000 people. But rise and I suppose it was also some little money that to go with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 20 million. 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 Yeah, let me also say that uh, today is a very sad day in the history of this state university. It is a day that the state government has provided palliatives for over 4,000 students, two bags of rice with some money attached to it. And unfortunately, our students were not patient enough to follow the process of accessing this palette. There was stampede. So many of the students got injured. Two students lost their lives. And so the state government, concerned about this scenario, decided to send His Excellency the Deputy Governor of Nassau State to come for concerned information on the matter. He was at the general hospital where he confirmed injuries and also the loss of two of our students. He came to the campus. We have had meetings with him where we reviewed the situation and agreed that the university will set up a committee, high power committee, to investigate this matter 
and come up with recommendations. The government is also setting a high-powered committee to also investigate this matter so that we will look at those who are directly responsible and if we find them culpable, they will actually be sanctioned appropriately. You know, academic institutions are places where you train students on learning and character. And if anybody is found short of the character, then it's not fit to be a university student. What has happened? So, what can you say about this uh, ugly incident that happened this morning? Well, it's a very sad one. It's a very sad one. Very sad. When I say very sad, it has. It has, it has reached the extent of, actually, nobody can say, like, it's very sad. So, in essence, this is signaling the government, the level of hunger, the masses, the students, the whosoever that is uh, within and outside this state is. There is, there is serious hunger at, in the state. So there is every need for us to step up in whatsoever we are doing. I mean the government to step up in whatsoever they are doing to, to protect this kind of problem. See, I, I, was, I was at home. I received so many calls. I was sleeping. Actually, I couldn't sleep anymore because the, the choice was, were too many for me. Like, I didn't go and started, some were crying, some were saying, people are dying. Like, just in the name of palliating, it's a very sad one. I hope government, government will devise a means subsequently to pretend this problem. And I hope government will, will devise a means to reach out to the parents of these deceased students. Because we have we, we have the incident of students dying in the course of getting this palliative. Government must devise a means to reach out to their parents to sensitize with them. Because this is a very sad reality. I'm very saddened about this incident. Can you blame the students on their own parts for their actions? Well, just a little percentage of it, maybe 10, 20 percent, but 80 percent of the blame goes to government. Because students on their own part, there are a lot of students here that they are living by themselves. They get school fees by themselves, they feed themselves, they do a lot of things by themselves. So seeing this happening, it's just like them having a little of a little way to you know surpass the situation they are passing through. You understand? So them having this kind of uh, support from government, this kind of support from government is supposed to be constantly, not uh, not in, 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 in the media perspective of everything. Because our government is so interested in media. Look at yesterday, they went and posted the, 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 the rights that, that were just, I don't know the, the number of rights that are there, but look at the number of students we are having. It's not even commensurate. So what we are saying in essence, the government have to devise a means with immediate effect to contain this kind of problem. It's a very big problem that, that we are passing through. I, I, I am afraid, I am afraid what uh, our society is, is, is getting into. I'm afraid what will happen next. Because just look at the incident. People die in the name of in the cost of food, what they will eat. That's to tell the government that there's it's a sign of, it's a symbol of poverty. There's serious poverty in the, in the state. Thank you.